Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist, and today we are going live to teach you how to paint this adorable alpaca. And um, I've chosen the word welcome so that we can help welcome in the year 2021. And that is with great pleasure that all of us are doing that. Um, so let me give you a little bit of a look here at the traceable. So, oops, there we go. Let me get that reflective light off there. But basically, um, the painting kit comes with a really nice traceable, so it makes it super easy. And then I give you lots of different uh, words to choose from. So you can, there's just really popular favorites like welcome, thankful, grateful, love, blessed, you know, just all kinds of nice examples. I have chosen welcome. So I did cut that out, put that at the top. And then we always have our transfer paper, shiny side down, dull side facing up. And then I place it here and then I just, use some tape that comes with the kit. And then we have a pencil that we do all over the top, just basically just writing, you know, just line art right over the top. And then when we lift off, it will actually just look like a pencil drawing at first. And then I always reinforce mine with a permanent marker that also comes with the kit. So it just, to me, it makes it a lot easier for beginners. So that's our main objective is to make everything very fun, very easy, um, easy for y'all. So I've got everything all set up and I went ahead and worked ahead uh, just so you wouldn't have to sit there and just watch me draw and line art everything. So that's all done here in advance. And then we have a painting kit. Now I've opened mine up, but it also comes with bunch of really awesome paints. So I've got all my supplies out all ready to go. And of course it also comes with your awesome brushes here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And especially with these sizes, I also do prefer working um, on a flat surface. That way I can work with a little bit more water as well. And I don't have to worry about water runs. So that's awesome. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start to work into the Let's see, we're going to go ahead and start to work into the hair. I was thinking, hmm, roses or fur? Let's go ahead and start with the fur. And I've got my mama brush. I'm going to go ahead and let's get a little paint plate here. Just real simple plate works. All right, so here we go. That's real easy. I've got my napkins nearby, my water, my little bucket of water. All right, we're going to start with some titanium white. I think, yep, brand new. So we need to go ahead and take that little piece of foil off. Ow. Oh, that was a little sharp. That's never happened before. Be careful. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I just lifted it off, but the right foot kind of got me. All right, so it is foil, so all right. So there's a little bit of a, a nickel sized dollop of that. We'll start with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of some Mars black. It's brand new. All of them are. So let's take that off. And then just a little pea size amount of that, just a little bit goes a very long way. We're going to be mixing up a really pretty light gray color. And then just for fun too, I wanna go ahead and show you, I'm gonna keep my mostly neutral with the gray, but if you wanna mix up a brown, let's go ahead and talk about that. Maybe add a little bit of brown to this. So I'm going to be using some cadmium orange and then basically brown, I'll show you, but you can make brown with cadmium orange and the black. All right, so here we go. I'm going to mix up some of this. Let's go ahead and start with mixing up a little bit of the brown. So a little uh, dollop of the orange, a little dollop of the black. Let's mix those together. And that definitely gives us a brown, but let's add more orange to make that lighter so you can definitely see how that is brown there. And the more orange you add, the lighter the brown becomes. So now we have a little bit of that brown to play with if we want that. Now you can also add a little bit of the white. You can see that gives you some really pretty light brown. All right, so we have that. And then 
I'm also going to mix up a little bit of the gray. So a lot of white on this, little tiny touch of the black. And then we've got our dark charcoal color there. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start with that dark charcoal color and I'm gonna go ahead and work into the ears. And I'm gonna touch into a little bit of that white too. Keep a nice soft blend going between the two. And I'm using what I call my Little Buddy brush. And so Little Buddy is just a quarter inch flat Taclon brush. And hello to everybody out there. <laughs> Welcome, welcome today. Hope y'all are enjoying the holidays. For those of you who um, follow my feed on Instagram and Facebook, of course, I made a post about my dad yesterday. He went into the ER and I am happy to report he's, um, it is just a, a bit of a, well, I'll say a bit, it's a lot of an ongoing struggle. He does have stage four cancer. And so every week is like very challenging. The news is very challenging, but we have great news today and that they gave him a steroid and he actually had a big full breakfast this morning. So he's doing a lot better. So we're still praying for miracles and hoping for the best. So we're not able to actually see him at the hospital right now um, because of COVID and all the restrictions but we are going to be able to FaceTime later today. So I'm very excited about that. So I'll keep y'all posted, but so far so good with the progress that he's made from yesterday to today. So we're very happy about that. And thank y'all so much for all your continued prayers. I really appreciate everything. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this other little ear here. We're still just mixing back and forth between a little bit of white and our lovely charcoal here. And the charcoal gray was just titanium white and a little bit of Mars black. And I'm just holding my brush just like you would hold a pencil. So this gives me a nice thin line edge. Helps me work into this slender space here around the little ear. Continue to show you how I'm mixing this up, but it's a pretty simple mix of just that white and black or that gray. And to make it a little bit more of like a furry color, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of the white, give it a little bit of texture. Put a, put a pretty big thick amount of white into it and then just kind of pull that up through the ear here. I love this painting because it is very, very simple. <laughs> so that's the good news. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and work into the face a little bit. Still just doing a few of these little wispies here. I want a little bit of that darker charcoal to kind of come up off to the side. Let's grab a little bit of black and work into this too. I'm going to edge it out in the darker charcoal, but then I'm, as I go into the face, I'm actually going to lighten it up a little bit. And you're welcome to be pretty flexible with the face. I mean, you can certainly add in more browns or more grays, make it light. There's really, you can't really make a mistake because they have lots of different colorations in real life. So they're kind of all over the place. And then as I work in, I'm actually going to switch over to a bigger brush. And I want to make sure I've got a little bit more white to work with. All right, so I've got my mama brush now. She is a half inch tack on flat. So I'm grabbing a little bit more of that white. 
and then we're going to work this into the face. I'm going to get a nice soft blend right into that outline there. And if it does set up and dry a little bit, you can re-wet the outer edge with that darker gray and then push right back into the white and work back into the face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly brush over that face. It will bleed through, so I haven't lost my trace. And that's good news for beginners as well. So you don't, don't have a, no panicking. <laughs> it's still gonna be there for you. That's the beauty of the permanent marker. So it will still stay there for you. So I'm getting a nice soft blend into that outline. And then again, we're just going with this really pretty light heather gray on the inside of the face. And then as I come up in and around the roses too, I don't wanna be too concerned about strict cut in work. I just wanna go ahead and do a little bit of an overpaint into those roses and then again over the eyelashes because I'll come back in over the top with a little bit of detail with either black paint or working at home as a beginner you can also just come back in over the top with your permanent marker too and do some of your finer de details there at the end. All right so now we've got Nice soft look on the face. I'm going to come back in again with a little bit more of this darker charcoal look. Grab a little bit of water and add that into the mix. And then let's go ahead and come around that edge. This is our long neck. Now we'll come back into a lot more of the white here. And then work that in. Nice soft blend while the paint's still nice and wet. So we get a nice transition between the two. And then just slightly kind of feather this out. So that's looking really nice. All right, so very easy there. And then let's go ahead and start to work out some of our really pretty little roses up top here. So I've given my mama brush a bath and I'm gonna dry her off. And now we'll mix up a really light pink for those roses and also for the insides of the ears. So let's go ahead and use some primary magenta. Very pretty. And then also we'll grab some cadmium red. So there it is, cadmium red. Let's get a little bit of that. All right, we have a lot of white nearby, so I'm going to grab some of that too. And we're going to mix that into our primary magenta and then also grab a little bit of that cadmium red. Grab a little bit more white. So we'll have a little bit of both, but I've got a light pink to start with here. Let's go ahead and work that into the rose shapes. Nice circular pattern. Just kind of push that around. Our roses initially look like big lumpy circles. And I'll pick up little bits of white as I do this too and push that around just in a circular pattern. Kind of looks like I'm pushing in a parenthesis shape. Let's grab a little bit more white, push that in. This is just the foundation. So we'll work on some pattern here in just a moment too that will really help bring out those petals. Go 
I've got some little baby roses here. So little tiny circles there. Again, I just kind of apply firm pressure, spin the brush in a circle. And so now we have the foundation of our roses in place. All right, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my, I call this my little bit brush. And this is just a round tackle on brush. And I'm going to come in with just some pure white, just like that. And then we're going to push in just like little half circles around the rows. So that's the beginning of the petals. So it's a nice abstract way to do it. Very textural. I have to wiggle the brush a little bit too as I do this. And just little half circles all the way around. So this is my first layer of pattern right over the top. You can already see those roses starting to emerge just with the white. And the same thing here it becomes a little bit more delicate on this smaller size. All right, very lovely. Now let's go in with the darkest color next. So I cleaned off my little bit brush again, just a round tack on, and I'm going to go ahead and go into. A little bit of this darkest shade of the primary magenta. So it's a little push, kind of looks like you make a little comma and then you lift off with a light hand. So again, push, comma, lift off with a light hand. That's that little center shadow in the middle of the rose. You can also come in with a little bit of that cadmium red too. Again, just a little tiny comma, lift off with a light hand. And then we want to basically just do the very same thing that we did with the white, but we're a little bit more minimal and delicate, and we'll just kind of place that around, but just a little bit of that. So again, this creates just a little bit of shadow, little bitty half circles, a little bit of wiggle as you go. Again, this is my primary magenta. And that white is still wet so that I get a nice soft blend between the two, which I like. I also do a little bit of that chemium red too. All right, beautiful. So we have our gorgeous roses in place. And while we still have our pink, let's go ahead and work in those cute little ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my little bit brush and that really light pink, and then we'll go ahead and work this into, almost looks like an upside down V. Let's grab a little bit more white, pull that into the mix. And I like how I still have a lot of that brush stroke showing through. It just gives a little bit of some texture, like fur in the center of the ear. So I'm pushing in mostly pink to begin with. And then let's grab a little bit of this pure white and then just pull that through. All right, there we go, that looks awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna work on our pretty little leaves that happen in the background now. Rinsed out my little bit brush, so I'll be ready to go here in just a moment. And then let's go ahead and use some Viridian. And some bright yellow green. And 
some cadmium green. I like to work with all three of those. And then I also usually grab a little bit of white nearby as well. So I've got my little bit brush again, and let's grab a little bit of white. Have that nearby. Let's do a little bit of that Viridian with our white. You can grab some of that bright yellow green in there too. You can stick with just that if you love it, or again, grab some of that cadmium, push that in, just gives a little bit more depth. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and work in my little leaves and they look like little tiny V's that come up. And just fill that in. I can add a little bit of a highlight with that bright yellow right over the top. I like picking up just different sections of it all in the same brush. And sometimes you just get nice little surprises with the different shades of green that come through. And just work that out to a point. And then as you go to fill in, I try to turn my brush a little bit more over to the side parallel to the canvas. And that will allow a lot more of that paint to just rest right on the surface. Really gives you some nice coverage. We're renovating our tipsy artist side over here. That's my honey bear working in the back. So it's need, needed a little bit of love. More leaves. Again, all these beautiful shapes are just done for you. So that makes it super easy. These are like little loop shapes. So when you follow in with these, it's kind of go up for a little loop fill that in and then come right back to the center. See, I'm loving how I get that little bit of light accent up at the top with the bright yellow green. I can also just do little bitty pushes with this too, with the brush. Have a push and then a pull. As I push a lot of the paint onto the surface, it just leaves a nice heavy layer of it. And to help fill into those little tiny areas too, you can also just grab a little dollop of it and then just do a little, you know, push, right? Just like that little dot of it. And that's a nice way to fill into those sections too. We're almost there, just a little bit more over here. I'll lay that hand a little bit more over to the side. I'll get much better coverage over the surface. Now we have our little loops to work in. Let's go ahead and loop that around and then come back to the center. Okay, 
one more little piece right down here. All right, that's looking really beautiful. Okay, so now we can do some of our darker black accents to accentuate the eyes and the nose and the mouth. All right, so I've got my little bit brush. Again, this is just a round tack on brush. Let's add a little bit of water to this black to where it's a little bit more fluid and easier to work with. And then I'll do a little spin. So I twist it between my fingertips and so that will twist it back out to a nice fine point, make it a lot easier to work with. And I'm gonna go ahead and follow up around this little eye shape here. And just taking that up to a little curve for those little eyelashes. So just follow the curve of the eye and then just kind of go up for a little curve here at the end and then lift off with a light hand. And if this makes you nervous, again, know that you can always use your permanent marker too that comes with your kit to work in those little eyelashes. That's a little bit easier for beginners. And then as I work into the nose, I'm gonna go ahead and grab just a little bit of white to make that more of like a dark charcoal color. Let's twist that back out to a nice fine point. And then we'll go ahead and work in that nose. And I'll make a little tiny like parentheses right here. There's that little delicate nostril. I'm going to keep that kind of small and dainty. A little loop and then come back down to the line. Let's grab a little bit more water so that our paint is fluid again and then just twist it right back out to a nice fine point. And then we'll come back down here for our smile. And we've got just a little marking there and then just lift off with that light hand and then we're going to lighten up a little bit with more of that lighter charcoal color let's mix that up let's grab a little bit of water and then we're going to do little feathering strokes just back and forth here on the side Let's grab a little bit of white. So I'm working back and forth a little bit of white and then a little bit of that gray. There's always a little bit of water in my brush when I come back in for that little bit of gray too, just to keep it very light and a little bit translucent too, so it's not too heavy. I'm going to come back and do just a little bit more of like a white accent here up at the top. Try that one more time. I'm going to do a little bit of some white accent in the middle of the ear too. So clean brush. This is my little bit brush, little round tack on brush, just pure white. And then we'll do 
light white accents. Just a little push and drag of that white line. That's like a light sketch right in the middle of the ear here. And then let's talk about those flash points too in the eyes. So I went ahead and just used, it's done for you in the trace, but if you want to accentuate it, there's a little trick where you can do some polka dots with your brush. So I use the uh, handle of the brush and I'm going to go ahead and dip right into some white paint. You see how it's right there on the end? And then we'll press straight forward and that will give me a nice clean round circle right over the top. All right, so both look the same. And then you can also make little uh, flowers with this too. So I'm going to take my little bit brush again. I wiped it off. Now I'm going to go into the primary magenta. See how that's dark with that pink. And I can go ahead and just do fun little dots of like little flowers that are peeking out from around. It's lovely. It's like a little boho look here with all the, the floral all the way around the head. Little crown of roses. So I'll take this all the way around. And this is such an easy, fun pattern to do always works out. And I typically do those in like little clusters of three. All right. So we are done with this painting. I kept mine really clean and simple and just kept my background a really pretty light white. Um, you are certainly welcome to do a different color if you want to. Um, and then what I do encourage you to do if you um, are doing a, a color all the way around, you can always sweep it on now if you'd like. Your permanent marker will bleed through or you can just sweep in all of your background color and then use our transfer paper and our lettering to go ahead and then place all of that up at the top as soon as it's all dry at the very end. So yes. All right. So I have all these wonderful messages out there. I'm so excited uh, to go look at those. And so I'll get back with everybody um, after we're done. And then this is a brand new painting. So I'm also going to post it at uh, tipsyartist.com. And so it'll just be, you know, the alpaca. So you'll find it there. And we have all the supplies for, for you, every single thing that you need. Um, but thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see y'all soon. Have a great day.